All right, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we're here to talk about me getting a Legends pinball machine, uh, as you guys are seeing here. Now, before what was in its place is a Star Wars pinball machine from Arcade 1UP. I've been talking about getting rid of that for a while because at this point it kind of was just a decoration piece because every time people came over, a lot of people weren't playing it because I already had better ways of playing the Zen pinball games because I have a full virtual pinball machine with a 4K screen and all that stuff that I have shown on this channel before that kind of plays all those games much better. So it was basically a decoration piece and I was needing an excuse to get rid of it. Um, and I finally saw Legends Pinball, and the reason I was hesitant on joining the At Games ecosystem and what they were doing is because it didn't fit what I wanted in my arcade because I already had a lot of these games in other ways, better ways of playing them, stuff like that. And Pinball was the exact same way. I already had a virtual pinball machine. I wasn't going to buy Legends Pinball if it was going to provide me the same games. So recently, obviously, they had Tato games that released a year ago that were exclusive to here. But recently, here in the, in the last week or two, they've been talking about getting more exclusive IP onto their system that is only being able to be played on their system. So that obviously intrigued me because that is exactly what I want. So at Games, if you're listening, the reason you got me on your ecosystem and how you're going to keep me here is keep releasing virtual pinball tables that are exclusive to your system because that's kind of what I want. If I could play them in other ways, then obviously I'm going to go play them on better machines. Uh, that I already own but now that we have the Tato games and now they have released a natural history pack that just released it I'm going to be doing a video on separately as well giving you guys gameplay and thoughts on that and we have Dr. Seuss coming uh, later this year with like I, I believe eight or nine or ten tables I forget exactly how many can't wait to play like how to uh, the how to Grinch stole Christmas on Christmas that's going to be awesome and they're all exclusive so that obviously intrigues me because now I have a reason to actually have this machine on, a reason to play it, along with, of course, some of their other features that they have that obviously make them unique, like the fact that all these pinball tables have online and leaderboards. So if I have a friends list of people that I get playing with, uh, obviously be more competitive. That will obviously be a unique feature that's fun as well. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that is the reason why I switched over to the Legends ecosystem for the first time and got rid of my RK1 pinball machine because the RK1 pinball machine has no leaderboards, no online play. And those games, I have better ways of playing them. So, what do I think now that I got the Legends Pinball Machine? Well, let's go ahead and first do an overview of the menu and what's on here. And then I'll give you my overall thoughts of what I've learned so far. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming Tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming Tech is the gaming tech. Gaming Tech is Guys, so here we are with the Legends pinball machine here set up as you guys can see. And right now I have the original artwork on here. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of the original artwork because it's based on the, like, the Gottlieb tables and stuff. And I obviously didn't play those tables when I was a kid or anything, but it does look good. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, no scratches or anything from Sam's Club. Everything came perfect. Um, so it was an issue with that, but I already am in talks with... A company out there which I will do a review on later on uh, that is going to give me replacement graphics uh, I'm gonna replace it with certain graphics that um, are kind of just one of our favorite movies and stuff that kind of match the the fact that this is in the movie room next to Star Wars and Marvel over here so we're adding graphics of something that we don't have showcased in the room in the movie room or in the arcade at all which will go really nice on there but the graphics on here do look good it's just not my cup of tea uh, then when it comes to building this thing, guys, when I got this from Sam's Club, there's there's no easier setup. I mean, the four legs came. They they went in with the screws. It came with a little uh, uh, screw to put it in. No issues at all really quickly. And then obviously this came in one piece. And then you had the back glass that literally is four or five screws in the back that you just kind of tighten together. And you're merry on your way. And then there's an on button on the bottom. And you just press it on and you're kind of good to go. So that was as simple as it kind of gets. And then here we have the back glass. You have the two speakers there in the front, of course. You got the um, HDMI cable there and all that kinds of stuff. And the USB stick that I do already have plugged in if I want to. And then, of course, the buttons here on the front. It does have the, the plunger there, which is really cool. Um, so overall, happy with the look here. Now, there are a couple of things that I'm going to be changing out on this machine over the coming weeks that I'll be doing separate videos on. Uh, one of the things is actually coming on Saturday, so you guys should see that next week, is the panel here I got uh, during the National Older Owners Day sale. I actually got the control panel here, so it has the trackball and the buttons and stuff, so I can play a few more games easier. And so this is going to be replaced right now. It's just a directional pad, but you guys have seen it. So I'll do a video on what I think with those impressions on that later. Um, the other thing I'll be doing is the haptics on this machine. 
Uh, obviously, I can't show that in the video, but a lot of people have talked about it. The haptics are not the greatest, especially coming from even the arcade one-up version that had the solenoids built in. And, of course, coming from my virtual pinball machine, uh, these just have, like, little speakers uh, on the side, like ciders. And they definitely don't bump. I had me and my wife play. She couldn't really notice them and stuff like that. So I have a, a kit coming from the same people who are sending me the graphics. So... Hopefully I get a kit from them as well. I'm still waiting to hear back on that and do a video review on that as well to show you guys how much of an improvement it is um, to put on here. So I'm excited to get that upgraded. And I'm also working with another company to actually add solenoids, like real solenoids on the inside uh, for the flippers as well. Because I'm just used to hearing that knock with my virtual pinball machine. And I think this will elevate the table a lot uh, playing these standard tables. So those are my two mods, uh, three mods that I plan on doing. The solenoids. Uh the upgraded uh, speakers inside then you got this panel coming here and then of course the graphics that i'll be replacing so you guys will see future videos so make sure you subscribe to take a look at that now one of the things that you guys need to know before i show you what the legends ecosystem looks like today is this is my first foray into Le into the legends ecosystem i don't have any other systems or anything and i don't plan on modding this machine as far as adding a pc to it because of course i already have a a virtual pinball machine with everything decked out. So I bought this for the exclusive tables like we talked about in the beginning and the exclusive features that the Legends actually offers here. And as you can see at the top here, I am signed in. And these are the tables that I've purchased so far. And I really like the fact that um, you have everything right here. You have everything that shows leaderboard support. So that's a little gold symbol right there. That is one of the reasons why I'm excited for this machine here because obviously it has a leaderboard support. Uh, and obviously I don't have that on my virtual pinball machine and I didn't have that on the Star Wars pinball machine either. So that's a new feature uh, that I really liked and I knew that they always have, but now I'm excited to actually play it because now when you're playing a game, you can see it actually shows the leaderboards. There's an option to turn leaderboard support on in the back class. So it just kind of gives you a heads up on, Hey, these are how your friends are doing. And these are how the top five people are doing. And it kind of keeps you motivated to play pinball. Like, uh, like obviously there's no motivation unless if you're doing it at home locally. Uh, but now that I can play with friends online and stuff like that and, and, you know, see leaderboards. That's a really cool feature to have. And then, of course, these are the exclusive tables. You can hit the uh, home button here to kind of like navigate uh, here. You can check your favorites, the ones that have leaderboard support, and then the channels uh, that you can go on. I hit the wrong button there. Um, you can see here, these are the tables that I own so far. So the Farside Studio tables are exclusive. The Natural History ones that just came out. Uh, are the are the are exclusive ones and then i got volume one two and three of tato which are exclusive and then they came with a sampler and i got zacharia volume five because those are their their best made tables uh because they were the deluxe table so i just even though i could play that in other ways i kind of wanted to see what it felt like on here so uh but like i said exclusive is the name of the game for me uh so for example if i you can just click on one of these and then just hit natural history and now you can see only those tables show up these are the four latest ones and i'm having a really great time with these i'll have a separate video on gameplay on all of these and and what i think specifically but they are really really well done especially compared to their old tables uh that they made like tato and stuff like that you could tell it's a marked improvement but more on that later on a different video one of the other things that's on this table that i really uh, like from at game so far is the arcade net service now they do need to add a lot more games i don't think it's worth the 20 dollars a month as is uh, but i do have three free months but i do like that of course again some of the games have leaderboard support so that makes it more fun to compete with other people so that's an advantage um and i do like the fact that you can play all of these games and they all have like their graphics on the side as an example if i were to open uh this one up here and i just hit play uh, you can see it shows you the controls and stuff like that right there on the top and then if i hit play there you can see it says server starting up because of course you are playing these on internet i am on wi-fi and it doesn't seem to be working too bad there is an ethernet port on the back if you actually want it but lower the volume here and the speaker volume on this is really good too uh as far as the volume is concerned but you can see it has like the graphics on the top and on the bottom so you can actually not have completely black space uh this is obviously one that is is in this landscape mode so you will have black bars there but some of them take up the whole thing depending on what kind of game it is but it is really cool and you can see how fast it started up i have no issues with playing on arcade net as far as the sound quality, you can hit the home button and then kind of scroll at the top menu there. And you can see you can change the quality of what you're doing. And it's on auto right now. The display mode, you can change it from fit. And if I change that there, you can do pixel perfect or center or full. If you do do full, like you guys see here, then it does take up the whole screen and get rid of all the all of the uh, artwork. But obviously, it's not going to be arcade accurate and it's going to look weird. Um, so obviously, for me... 
fit seems to be the best so far that I've played around with. And then, of course, you can see here, you can just quit out of there if you want. And then it will just quit out of the game and you're back at the main menu. As simple as that. So, Arcana has a lot of promise, especially if they add multiplayer one day. Uh, or like, real-time multiplayer. But it is cool that they have leaderboard support. But more of these games need to have leaderboard support. You can see there's eight pages so far of different games, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I do think that they need more games and more heavy hitters if they want me to subscribe for $20 after these three months are up. They did say recently that they plan on adding a lot of arcade net games over the le over the next three or four months. So hopefully that's true. And we'll see if I keep my subscription. But uh, it is fun to be able to play these really easily. And more importantly, the leaderboard support is what separates it. Because obviously I can connect a coin ops build there on the USB stick and play most of these games already. So what's going to sell it is the fact that I can play either online, which isn't here yet, so hopefully they do that at one point, or the fact that you can have leaderboard support, which is here, so you can play against your friends, is an additional feature that you can't do if you just connect the coin ops thing there. So they do have some promise with ArcadeNet that I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, BO BYOG is obviously the cloud uh, service. You can either um, bring your own computer, so you can stream locally from your computer, uh, you know, whatever you have on your computer, whether that be Steam games or, or whatever that may be. I haven't gotten too much into that, but it is a feature here. And then you also have cloud gaming, so you can pay them, uh, you know, X amount of money for a certain amount of time. And you can basically borrow one of their computers and run games off of their PCs. I don't know how many people are actually doing that. That's not something I'm going to be doing, because if I wanted to stream, I could do it on my powerful PC that I already have next to me. But it is cool that they have that as an option. Maybe some people don't have a PC and they want to play more powerful games, so it is an option that is there. The App Store X is, of course, where all of their games are that are for sale. So you can just browse their store and kind of just buy games right on here, which is really cool. They also have the attract modes that you can download if you want so you don't touch the machine. It starts showing some videos and stuff. You can download it on here. They have the BitPixel stuff, uh, BitPixel FC, and the Pixel Cade if you guys have that. And then CoinOps as well. So I do have a CoinOps USB stick plugged into there. So you kind of can get an idea. So CoinOps is sitting on here, and I could just basically start this up right from here and it says i can launch coin ops and i have about 700 games and these are all games that are landscape based uh that work well on the screen the beginning of the the video doesn't work so just skip over that i think a lot of us know that but you can see here really nice interface on the guys who worked on this fantastic shout out to them uh you can play all of these games they're all either trackball games or, or games that kind of go sideways uh so you, they take up a really good size of the real estate so this works really well um, things like Centipede, for example, if I were to start this and I had start on Centipede, you can see it will launch up there and now I can play Centipede. And it, what's really cool is that it has the artwork on the bottom where it shows you the controls, which I really like. And it actually tells you how to insert coins and stuff like that if you need to, but you could just hit start. Has a really nice effect down there uh, with that. And then it has, of course, the marquee at the bottom. And then the game takes up the full uh, area here because these are designed to take up the whole area. So these are 717 games that actually take up landscape on here the whole direction. So really, really cool stuff to actually have this on here. Uh, you can save slots if you hit uh, you know, the, the home button, you can save your high score, or of course, you could just quit the game right from there. To quit out of coin ops, you just hit the rewind button, which is the red button on the front there, uh, which is how you quit. Now, one of the other things I wanted to talk about real quick, too, is you can actually, on the BYLG screen, if you look at add-on X, you can actually hit start on there as well. And all of the games that I just showed you do actually appear here as well. Um, so you can kind of, instead of opening up coin ops, if you just want to launch the game directly from here... Uh, you can do that. It seems like they all work, and most of them have artwork on the back, which is really cool, just like the CoinOps version does as you're scrolling through. So that's really cool that they did that recently. Um, but yeah, you can scroll through this way, too, if you don't want the fancy interface. It, here's another option on how you can look at the games that way. And then, of course, you have your settings over here where you can uh, manipulate. You got your digital locker where all your digital games are delivered, your pinball settings, and, and the current version, and updating to the latest version and stuff like that show you guys some gameplay real quick on just one of the tables of the newest natural history table so you can guys can get an idea of the experience you'll have on this table and what i'm super super happy with so you can see on the black uh, back glass there what it looks like you can see they have the new fancy um back glasses and images and going on there that's kind of reserved for these newer tables that they're doing which looks fantastic like i said can't wait for them to do future ips like dr seuss and stuff that have already been announced uh but these natural history tables are really good 
and you can see what you guys can expect. There's a lot going on on there. 1080p graphics look really, really good. Nothing looks fuzzy or anything like it did on the Arcade 1-Up one, -up one uh, in my eyes. These look really clean, really good. And uh, I'm really, really impressed. You can play four player locally. That's how you add a player right at the beginning with all their tables now, which is really good. Uh, you can even just hit the menu system and all these tables. You can see the rules right there, which is really nice. And take a look at the settings. You can see the leaderboard uh, right here. So you can see the local leaderboard scores. You can see my score on this table, 31 so far. Not that great compared to most of you. And then the online leaderboard shows up there, just like it does up there as an option that I turned on. So it shows my score. And then the local leader, the, the online leaderboard. So you can kind of see that while you're playing. So you kind of can go, go for that and see what you're doing, uh, which is really cool. But yeah, they're doing a really good job with their newer tables. Just look at how fantastic this table here looks on, on their newest one. So I can't wait to see what they do next. So at games, keep releasing exclusive IP for your for your pinball table because that's how you're going to get me to spend more money on here because these look fantastic and you can't play these pinball games anywhere else besides in at games Legends Pinball. So, But let's go ahead and go over my final thoughts on what I think about Legends Pinball. All right, guys, so that was an overview of the At Games menu and everything that's kind of on here, what I think about the menu system so far. So, like I said in the beginning, uh, the or during that menu overview, I was really impressed how easy this was to set up. Obviously, just the four legs and just the back box, the, the online process and, and getting an account, all that, it was super simple. Had no issues with that. All the games that I ordered on National Owners Day was kind of sitting in my digital locker. Easily downloaded it. I took a USB stick and I put the corn ops build on half of the USB stick and then the other the 32 gigabytes is for flash X and that's where it installs all the pinball tables so that went without a hitch I got that all set up on here and really really happy with it so far what kind of made me this machine stand out to me so far to be honest even though I have a virtual pinball machine separately that has a 4k screen and all the toys and everything that machine is only a 27 inch screen and seeing a 32 inch screen and how nicely it's tilted and all that stuff makes me eventually want to do what I've been talking about is getting a virtual pinball machine and selling that small one I have and getting like a bigger one because just this 32 inch screen is, is so much nicer than even the 27 inch 4k screen obviously the 4k screen looks a lot better in detail but just the overall size is is really good on here so I'm excited to that that's kind of another unique feature I have compared to the other one is this one's a lot larger um that really makes game more fun to play um, but really, really impressed. The graphics on 1080p coming from the Star Wars Arcade 1 up pinball machine obviously stand out. These are a lot nicer. 1080p tables look a lot better and stuff like that. And I played the Tato table. Uh, table tables on here they were okay they weren't bad I had fun with them but then when I went over to the natural history tables you can tell the quality of jump that at games is doing and I can't wait to see what they do with Dr. Seuss and the other future properties that they said that they're going to be grabbing exclusively for their pinball machine so they're doing great work and I can't wait to see what's what comes next from them with Dr. Seuss and all the other stuff but the natural history tables they did a really really good job on again I'll be doing a separate video on gameplay of those uh, so you guys can see it and give you my final thoughts but uh, that's super impressive. Uh, the graphics on the side, like I said, are okay. Uh, not exactly my cup of tea. I have that being replaced. I have the control panel coming in, so I'll be able to show that off and, and kind of kind of demo more of the uh, Coin Ops games and, and some of their other at, uh, the um, arcade net games when that comes in this weekend, and I'll show you guys that next week. So we'll be taking a look at that. The digital plunger works really well. Uh, I, I like the fact that they use a real plunger on there, so that works really well. Um, no issues with that the buttons on the side all that stuff works great uh, the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed on uh, even though I kind of knew that it wasn't going to be great is the haptics inside I hear that um, I, I tried them with different tables the tato tables the natural history tables you the only way that you can feel them is if your hands are kind of pressed on the tables just kind of like this and then you can kind of feel it on your hand like right here the way that you're holding it um, and that's naturally how your tables rest and you can feel it but you have to kind of pay attention for it it's not like you're just feeling it as you play pinball, which is how I feel my other machine. But that one has a bunch of toys on it, so it's kind of a hard comparison to make. But still, this one felt really pretty weak. I even had my wife come over here and ask her, like, hey, do you feel the haptics compared to our other machines? She's like, not really. I have to really pay attention to feel it. So, And I do have it on high and all that stuff. So I think that that was my only disappointment with the machine so far of everything I've played. I love the tables and everything. But that disappointment is going to be fixed because I worked with, I'm working with someone to hopefully... Uh, one of the companies out there to give me a haptics upgrade kit um, that I'll be able to show off and do a video review on. And then I'm also going to add solenoids to the flippers. So I kind of get basically a, a, a as close of an experience for a small budget compared to what I have on my other machine that makes this work well. Because remember, like I said in the beginning, uh, during the overview in the menu, 
this machine is going to be used specifically for me for their exclusive tables. Uh, I, I'm, that's kind of what I got this machine for. I'm not going to be adding a PC to it, at least not anytime soon, because I have a machine already. So this machine is all about the exclusive tables. So I want to be able to play Dr. Seuss and these natural history tables with way better feedback. So I want to get that upgrade, and I want to be able to have the solo notes for those tables. So I'm excited to do those upgrades on this machine and, and kind of walk you guys through that when I do it. So a lot of content coming on the Legends Pinball, and of course when they release new packs like Dr. Seuss, there'll be some videos on that as well. But overall, guys... First impressions on this machine is in 2022. This is fantastic. There's no better deal for the price that you can get these for what it's worth, especially when you compare it to other things out there. 32 inch screen, 1080p screen, online uh, leaderboard support, uh, their tables and all that kind of stuff. Nice back glass on here. Uh, they're doing some good work on here. Uh, and I'm really, really impressed. Even though the haptics are not as good as I would want them to be, um, they're there. And if you don't want to upgrade them, you will feel them a little bit. But um, it's something you can obviously upgrade down the road. Uh, but overall, really, really happy with the machine. And I can't wait to do more videos for you guys. So if you guys have any questions about what you guys seen in today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.